something unique that we all believe in because it's something that no one in the TDSB has done. No one's competed at the Waterloo University EV Challenge before. Hours of grinding, welding, fabricating, and mechanics have culminated in them being the first TDSB school to participate in this. The University of Waterloo Electric Vehicle Challenge is an annual endurance competition for Canadian high schools. There are two races, one a 12 volt and the other a 24 volt challenge. The idea is how far you can go in 60 minutes for the 12 volt race and how far you can go in uh, 75 minutes for the 24 volt race. For seven months, the students have worked countless hours during and after school to design and build two electric cars. We have driven the car. Um, we've hit about 40 kilometers an hour in second gear. The car seems reliable. After those initial tests, it was back to the shop for modifications and finishing touches. Their cars are made primarily with bicycle parts, including the transmission, and they say that will be their edge. We use the lower gear to efficiently get up to speed, and then to maintain speed, we switch to a higher gear, which uses less energy. Do you think a competition is going to have the same idea? Unlikely, because everyone that has tried this, they've just said that it's too hard to do, uh, you know, it's impossible, it'll never work. But these students say they've figured out how to make it work. While they don't want to give all of those secrets away, they are confident. It's very important because it, it, it develops life skills, such as, uh, such as perseverance and uh, commitment to a uh, project. Well, the cars will be ready for test runs in about a week, and then it'll take about a month to make sure that it's running perfectly. The competition is May 27th. At Martin Grove Collegiate, Audra Brown, City News.